From advanced military robots armed with automatic weapons, to an incredible and loud video of a jet engine being tested inside a building, here are five incredible military tests caught on camera. The Atlantic City Air National Guard Base is located at the Atlantic City International Airport in New Jersey. Thanks to its special facilities, the National Guard can conduct all kinds of military tests without affecting the routine of the thousands of people who pass through the area daily. Around March 3rd of 2017, a gas turbine engine from a U.S. Air Force F-16C Plus Fighting Falcon was tested at full afterburner in the Guard Base's Hush House. According to the Army of Experts, this turbofan can produce about 29,000 pounds of static thrust, allowing it to propel a Fighting Falcon at twice the speed of sound. Footage shows the engine working at full power as specialists test its operation. Just listen to the deafening roar of this engine that U.S. pilots ride on every day. The Hush House is a multi-purpose building used to perform diagnostic testing, perform maintenance on uninstalled engines, and test the highest horsepower engines. Fortunately, the test of this engine was a success and allowed the Air Force to obtain vital information to ensure the safety of our pilots. Opening in early 1997, Mid-America Airport has seen thousands of extraordinary flights, including a recent test flight just a year ago. On June 4th of 2021, images shared by the U.S. Navy showed the first aerial refueling operation between a human-crewed receiver aircraft and an unmanned aerial vehicle known as the Boeing MQ-25 Stingray. The unmanned aerial vehicle developed by the multinational Boeing Corporation amazed all onlookers. Refueling options are vital in military operations and can ensure the success or failure of a war. For this reason, this footage showing how the U.S. Air Force is one step closer to becoming the lords and masters of the sky never fails to impress. The MQ-25 flight lasted approximately four and a half hours, during which both dry and wet connections were made. According to Army officials, the aircraft could transfer 325 pounds of fuel during the operation, making this another military engineering success. The Naval Surface Warfare Center is part of the Naval Sea Systems Command operated by the U.S. Navy. The function is to provide the technical operations and engineering products and services necessary to equip and support the fleet and meet the warfighter's needs. Back on April 7th of 2014, an incredible video shared by the U.S. Navy left the world completely speechless. After much planning and secrecy, the U.S. Navy decided it was time to test the prototype electromagnetic railgun and deploy it aboard the JHSV. The footage shows the firing of this incredible piece of engineering and the journey the ammo had to take until it hit a military truck, exploding it into thousands of pieces and hiding it in a cloud of smoke, fire, and dust.
Railguns are electric weapons that fire metal projectiles at high velocity through a magnetic field. The destructive force of these projectiles lies in their speed, mass, and kinetic energy, since they do not usually contain explosives. For this reason, their deadly force and low launching costs makes the electromagnetic railgun a terrifying weapon capable of sowing death wherever it is fired. The Laser Weapon System, or LAWS, is a project developed by the U.S. Navy that consists of an authentic laser weapon. The LAWS is a ship defense system that has so far been tested against simulated enemies, but we could soon see it being used against real enemies. It uses an infrared beam from a solid-state laser array that can be adjusted to destroy a target or cripple its sensors. Depending on how far away it's fired, the laser weapon system can dazzle a person's eye in a non-lethal manner, burn engines, detonate explosive material, or eradicate threats, as seen in the following test conducted by the military. On December 9th of 2014, the military decided to share shocking footage of the laser weapon system aboard the USS Ponce. The footage shows the operation of this futuristic weapon, disposing of all kinds of targets from small boats to an unmanned aerial vehicle that was shot down by the tremendous destructive force of this weapon in seconds. One of the greatest advantages of the laser weapon system is that it has a very low cost, since each shot only needs to cover the minimum cost to generate enough energy pulse to shoot down an enemy. In contrast, designing and mass-producing these weapons is another story regarding economic costs. However, if the law's tests continue to be a success as seen in recent footage, we may see this weapon in action sooner than we think. Now, we all know that the military organizes training for its troops every day. However, it's one thing to conduct physical training, and another to combine that training with the Army's latest technological creations to prepare soldiers to fight future wars. That is the case with MiG-16, which tests 21st century concepts and capabilities in a realistic warfare environment we're likely to see in a few years, like the one that took place at 29 Palms Combat Center. On May 8th of 2016, the U.S. Army's team of community managers shared an impressive video showing troops operating futuristic drones, riding in military vehicles, and firing artillery rounds. The test, conducted by the 3rd Battalion, 5th Marine Infantry Regiment, is just a preview of what soldiers could face in tomorrow's day, including scouting the terrain via small robotic units. Thankfully, the test was a success. So, it's possible that many of the future weapons the Army will develop will be tested in the upcoming MiG-16. If you enjoyed this video and want to see another just like it, then be sure to click the link on screen now. As always, thanks for watching and tune in next time.